Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to pass a structure variable and the address of a structure variable to a function. We're going to learn both things in this one tutorial. So let's begin. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, let's define a structure struct and let's call it as student and as a parameters to this structure we're gonna have in roll number char six and let's say int h okay now we have a structure called student you know which contains three members the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build two functions and one function is going to take a structure variable as a parameter and another one is going to take address of a structure variable as the parameter so first we're going to build the function which is going to take the structure variable as the parameter and also make a note that we are defining the structure outside all the functions and because of that we can access the structure student throughout our program or you know in all the functions that we write so here our function is going to be void and i'm going to call it as display and i told that this display function is going to take the structure variable as the argument so it's going to be student and then a variable name let's say yes and uh, I just gonna print out the value received to this variable s so I'm gonna use C out and it's gonna be yes dot roll number and end this line and I'm gonna copy this and paste it two more times and we're gonna change this one to sex and age Alright, now we have written a function which is gonna take the structure variable as the parameter and it's gonna print out the value received to that structure variable. So first we're gonna do the function prototyping, otherwise we may forget that. So I'm gonna copy this one and paste it here above and uh, add a semicolon. Okay, the next thing is we're gonna build another function, you know, which is gonna take the address of a structure variable so the our function is going to be void and let me call this function as show and this function is going to take the address of a structure variable so it's going to be student and we need a pointer since we are receiving the address and it's going to be star yes and in this show function we're going to print out the value received through this address so for that I'm gonna copy this C out all three and paste it here and we're gonna change this dot operator to arrow operator because if you are accessing the members of a structure variable using a pointer then you guys need to use the arrow operator all right now we have two functions one is gonna take the structure variable as a parameter and another one is gonna take the address of a structure variable okay we need to do the function prototyping for this show function i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it after this display and a semicolon so now we have two functions then we're going to create the variables in our main function so it's going to be the user defined data type student and then the variable name let's call it as anil and uh, we can initialize that right here so it's gonna be in between the curly braces and first member is gonna be roll number let's say one two three four and then the sex separated by comma m and then again comma and the age 24 all right now we have a structure variable anil the next thing is we're gonna call the display function and we're gonna pass this structure variable anil to it so I'm going to call it so it's going to be display and we need to pass the variable anil and then we're going to call our show function and we need to pass the address of this structure variable anil so it's going to be show 
and I'm gonna pass address so it's gonna be and or the ampersand anil all right now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this okay we have the error so I'm gonna open up the logs error student was not declared in this scope all right that's because we have this structure student definition after this function prototyping and we are referring to that structure student here and you know this structure student is not available here that's why what we need to do is we need to cut this structure student definition and we need to place it before the function prototyping and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna close this error logs and also i'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see 1234m24 that's from this display function and then 1234m24 that is from the show function. So the next thing that I want you guys to teach is so when you pass the variable to a function you know not the address only the variable if you change the values in that function that change will not be reflected in this main function or in other words if i change the value of this variable yes in this display function then the value of this anil variable will not be changed to demonstrate that i'm gonna change the value of yes dot let's say roll number equal to a value of zero 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 if you change this here in this display function and then that change will not be reflected to this variable anil that's because we are passing this variable anil by value or we are just copying the value of this variable anil to this function and to demonstrate that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save this and before that we're gonna add a new line here you know just to make it pretty and build and run this So now you guys can see 1234m24, 1234m24, you know the value is not changed and if you change the value of this structure variable yes in this show function then that change will be reflected. To demonstrate that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the value. So I'm gonna copy this yes dot roll number and paste it here in this show function and also we need to refer using the arrow operator and here in our uh, main function we're gonna call this show function first and then we're gonna call the display function and just uh, you know interchanging them and so now what happens is first we are going to call the show function and th at that time we are, we are printing the values of the variable anil using this address and also we are changing the value and then we are displaying the values using the display function so i'm going to save it build and run this so now you guys can see the show function displays the values 1 2 3 4 m and 24 and when we change the value using a pointer you know that change will be reflected to the original variable that's why the value of this variable anil is changed and when we print that using the display function you know we are getting a value of zero so this is it guys this is about passing the value of a structure variable and also the address of a structure variable to a function thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning and if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to ask us and i'll see you in the next tutorial